Hey y'all, how you doing? How's everybody today? Good, good. Good. I have something to say. <clears throat> Last year we did really good. Last year we got to a little over 300 subscribers. Almost 400. So, I think y'all deserve a hug for that, you know? So, come on. Come, come. Come in. Come in. Hug. 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 Get, get all the bosoms. Get, get, get all the bosoms. There you go. That was a good hug? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. So, today I want to talk to... Most of the guys, the girls, y'all can listen in too because it's kind of important. Um, so, masculinity is really important to the world. And not necessarily just in men, but in general. In anyone that really holds it, which is pretty much everybody. But let's focus on men and their masculinity. So I have been hearing a lot on YouTube and their videos and people automatically saying that uh, this type of man is is a toxic man. Mas it's expressing toxic masculinity and this man is showing is not showing any so he's a beta or they're assuming that he's a beta because he's not vocal or aggressive and I just want to let y'all know sometimes masculinity is very quiet sometimes masculinity it don't say nothing. It just moves. And that's the kind of masculinity I am attracted to. I'm attracted to that masculinity that's just quiet, say less, show more masculinity. So like these gentlemen that like to get on video social media platforms in, in general and they say oh I'm an alpha I'm an alpha I'm an alpha I'm an alpha and they keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it and you're like if you're an alpha you really don't have to say it we, we should see it it's just show and not tell. Um, most of the men in my life that were really manly, really masculine, I mean, exude that masculine energy, were quiet. They did not say too much. They just made it happen. They just made it happen. And most of the women in my life that were super masculine were pretty quiet too. The feminine, the feminine stuff usually came in and it's like with femininity quiet is just like passive but a lot of people passive what femininity and, and being quiet is just being quiet and allowing things to happen and, and watching them happen and and knowing and making a decision rather to follow the the lead or tap out 
with masculine men that are not vocal. They are quiet and they just make their moves. They just make their decision and they just make their plans and they just move. They don't really tell you nothing. They don't, they don't really, they, they're not, they're not loud and vocal. Like, just because you have a heavy voice, heavy tone, doesn't mean you have to say, talk all the time. This is something that turns me off. A talkative man, especially a boastful talkative man, like, I got, I did, me did, I did. I mean, I don't want to, it's always a did too, it's always I did. It's not what it's not I'm doing. It's always I did. So most of the men that I noticed that were very masculine did not say too much. You just saw it. You just saw it happen. And they were all the most they would say was, relax. You'll see. Relax, you'll see. Not relax, we'll see. Relax. You'll see. And all you do is sit back and watch. Because they handle that. And I I really, I've, I've always been very attracted to that. And if we do have a conversation, it's a very deep conversation where they're teaching me something. I, I'm, a, I'm a learning box. I do like to receive knowledge from people that I feel that know what the hell they're talking about. So I just I just want to talk about that 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 type of masculinity. And and you know like that's why I'm attracted to smart men like what people would call nerds. Men that are very technical in their their, their decision making like this is how it is like very black and white cuz that's that's how I would choose to think I'm forced not I'm forced to think in different ways because I'm a woman and I have to and I had to nurture and had to understand the you know the human human humankind like how people work because there's not there's really not just a black and white but it helps to be black and white when you want to get a goal accomplished accomplished when it comes to like Focusing. When it comes to like focusing on like, okay, this is, I want to go to school for this. And at this, at this time I'll finish. And at this time I'll have my business. And at this time I'll start this. And at this time, and when you have like this type of checklist of accomplishments, black and white is a good way to think. Gray is when you're working with people and you're trying to cultivate a situation you're trying to nurture a situation you have to think in gray you have to allow gray to to you have to allow it to happen you have to see it and understand it and go with the flow i man uh, usually men that get goals accomplished are very tunnel vision very focused they they get it done and it's always a woman that understands that that can roll with it that's the kind of masculine man that I'm attracted to. And I don't like when people come across quiet men or men that don't speak up like this. A lot of times, a thinking man can have things work out without acting. Y'all have seen Equalizer? Equalizer is like a good example because... He would think things out before he reacted or spoke and spoke very carefully on what was going to happen, what would be done. That's, that's, you know, that's, that's masculine. A chatterbox and I'm on, you know, just, 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 that's very, that's childish too. Childish behavior and very beta. Very, very beta. Sorry. So I just want to let y'all know that. I just, I just want to share that. That's a quick little 
something, something that I want to share with a gentleman that may feel this way. Like, just because you don't speak up immediately doesn't mean that you're not going to make something happen. If you speak up, if you don't speak up when it comes to like certain things and, you know, some, some men are just more calculated. They're not scary or they're not afraid to say something. They're just, they're very calculated and, and that's okay. That's okay. That's fine. That's still masculine. All right, y'all. Love you. Please subscribe.